Welcome to 2016, the year everyone is offended by everything, the year social media shit the bed, the year free speech, freedom of expression and freedom of creativity can no longer be taken for granted. We now really have to watch what we say for fear of serious repercussions, be that being banned from Twitter or demonetized on YouTube. Now I want to talk to you guys about YouTube's new terms of service. Well they're, they're not exactly new but we'll get to that in just a moment. So then here they are, let me summarize it for you. No sexual humor no inappropriate language, no controversial subjects. If your video contains any of this stuff, YouTube could consider the content not advertiser friendly and pull ads from it. Essentially, the video is demonetized and the content creator who made the video will receive no money for their work. So what exactly does this mean? Well, it means content creators now have to conform to a bland, child-friendly template. No sexual humor, no inappropriate language, profanity or vulgar language, no controversial or sensitive subjects, including subjects related to war, political conflicts, natural disasters and tragedies. I mean, fuck, what can we talk about YouTube? Can I talk about this grey sock? Is, is that okay? What if it's a sock that was found amongst the rubble of a natural disaster and has fuck face sewn into the fabric? Is it still cool to talk about this sock? Now, I don't mean to be facetious, but I hope you can see where I'm coming from here. I always saw YouTube as one of the most democratic forms of media, something that absolutely anyone could be a part of. And perhaps more importantly, they could talk about pretty much anything. News channels like Philip DeFranco, personality driven content like Boogie to 988, the snarky satirical genius that is iDubs TV, the filth that is Filthy Frank, the BuzzFeed baiting brilliance of the amazing atheist, not to mention I Hate Everything, Grade A Under A, Leafy Is Here, KSI, Jim Sterling, Chris Raygun, PewDiePie, Dashy XP, all the most interesting content creators are the ones unfettered by bullshit regulations. You may not like them, in fact, you may loathe them, but goddamn, they make YouTube a richer place to play in. And they all have one thing in common, they've all made content that YouTube's new terms of service deems not advertiser friendly. So it seems they have two choices, abide by the rules and churn out watered down content, or fuck the rules and don't get paid. But who on this God-given planet works a job that doesn't pay? So then, like I said before, these terms of service from YouTube aren't new, but it seems they're now being enforced far more stringently. I'm gonna let my boy Boogie to 988 fill you in. He's been in the YouTube game from the start and knows what he's talking about. This video clip was taken from his Twitter feed. YouTube creators responded today by saying that this policy is not new, and I, that's true. I think these rules have been in place for quite some time and that they've been doing this for a while. And I can say that during the Paris attacks last year, one of my videos was demonetized in exactly this way. So that's true too. What has changed is the way they're enforcing it and the number of videos they're enforcing it, the way that it's being enforced and the severity of which it's being enforced. All of that's different as of today. That's what we want you to address, YouTube. We don't want you to address whether the policies existed or have been enforced before. We want you to address the changes you've made this week. Now, Boogie is just one of the many content creators hit by YouTube's new aggressive terms of service. Here are some others. Melanie Murphy for talking about acne. Luke Cutforth for talking about depression. Tanner of the North for talking about why Sonic Adventure 2 is a good game. I mean, what the actual fuck? So then, as you can see, this is a concern for many YouTubers, including me. I end all my videos with thanks for watching you beautiful bastards and I often throw in the occasional fuck. Is YouTube gonna bend me over and diddle my naughty spot because I use vulgar language? They certainly could do. YouTube, please sort your shit out for the sake of your site, for the thousands of YouTube creators who make a living from this site and for all the people who tune into YouTube in their millions to be entertained, to escape the grinding reality of life, not to be spoon fed a dull grey paste of bland, inoffensive, advertiser friendly bollocks. Let us be human for fuck's sake. I want my entertainment raw. I want my content creators free to express themselves without fear of losing their livelihood, and I want to keep making videos for you guys. As for this video, well, it's almost certainly gonna get demonetized, but that's okay, I just really felt the need to talk about this with you. Freedom of expression has always been so important to me, it's an essential component of being human for God's sake, so to see it being eroded by YouTube's aggressive terms of service is honestly, it's heartbreaking. So yeah, I just wanted to share that with you, I know this is a complete departure from my regular content, but I hope you understand why I made this video. Now I've linked videos from Boogie to 988 and Philip DeFranco in the description box below if you'd like to learn more about this and see just how devastating these changes can be for content creators. Thank you all so much for your incredible support throughout the years and I'll speak to you guys soon.